Now let's go for second hour lecture that is a composite function. So there are three learning outcomes to achieve at the end of this, le this lecture. So first, so you must know how to represent a composite function using an arrow diagram. Second, so you must know how to find composite functions and you must know how to find one of the functions when the composite and the, the other functions are given. So what is a composite function? So let's consider two functions fx and gx. So we define f composite gx equal to f of gx, meaning that the output values of the function g are used as the input values for the function f. This can be represented in arrow diagram. So let's say we label this first set as x, so this one as f of x and this is g f of x and the element in x is 0, 1 and 2. Let's say function fx is x equal to 1. So therefore if we substitute x by 0 then we'll get 0 plus 1 which is equal to 1. So we have 1 here. So when x is equal to 1 then we have x fx is equal to 2. When x is equal to 3, the f of x is equal to 3. Then, we substitute this fx into gx. So, let's say the g of x is equal to fx square. So, meaning that we get, we get 1, 4, and 9. So, from set x to the last one, so we can write as g f of x. Okay, so please note that f composite g is not equal to fx times gx. Now look at this example. If given f of x is equal to 3x plus 1, g of x is equal to 2 minus x, so find as a function of f composite g. F composite G meaning that we substitute G into F. So we have GX is equal to 2 minus X and this 2 minus X we substitute into this F of X. So for X we substitute by 2 minus X. Then we get 3 times 2 minus X plus 1 which is equal to 7 minus 3X. For G composite F, for G composite F, we substitute F of X into function G. So F of X is 3X plus 1. So this 3X plus 1 will be substituted into GX. So we get 2 minus 3X plus 1 and finally we get 1 minus 3X. So you see, F composite G is not equal to G composite F. Now let's try this example 16. So you are given fx is equal to 2x minus 1 and gx is equal to x to the power of 3. So we want to find the gf of 3. We find f3 first. So f3, so we substitute 3 into the f of x. So we get 2 times 3 minus 1 which is equal to 5. So g f of 3 meaning that g 5. So now substitute this 5 into the function g. So we get 5 to the power of 3 which is equal to 1 to 5. So now let's look at f squared 3. f squared 3 is same as f composite f of 3. f of 3 is equal to 5. So therefore, we get f of 5. So, we substitute 5 into the function f. Then we get 2 times 5 minus 1 which is equal to 9. Now, example 17. So, if you are given gx equal to x squared plus 1 
and t of f of x is equal to x squared plus 4x plus 5. So find the function of f of x. g f of x is fx squared plus 1, which is given as x squared plus 4x plus 5. So we simplify this. We get f of x squared is equal to x squared plus 4x plus 4. Then this one can be factorized as x plus 2 squared. So we compare this and this left and right. So therefore we can say that f of x is equal to x plus 2. Now look at example 18. The function g and the composite the function g and the composite function function h composite g are defined as follows. So we have gx is equal to 3x minus 4 and hg is x is 6x plus 10. So we want to do define the function of h. So we can start by this one. hgx is equal to 6x plus 10. So this gx we substitute by 3x minus 4. So we get h 3x minus 4 is equal to 6x plus 10. So then we let this 3x minus 4 as equal to u. So we change the subject x is equal to u plus 4 over 3. Then we substitute into the function. So we have h u is equal to 6 and then x substitute by u plus 4 over 3 and then plus 10. Then we simplify this to get h. So we simplify h u equal to 6 u plus 4 over 3 plus 10. Then we we'll get 2 u plus 18. Then we change back u in terms of x. So we get h x is equal to 2 x plus 18. So now we go for the last example of this composite function. So if given that gx is equal to cube root of x and hx is equal to 1 over x cube. So find f, fx such that f composite g composite hx equal to x over x plus 1. So we can write f composite g composite h as this. F G H F of X equal to X over X plus 1. So before we start, so we should find the G F uh, G of H of X first. So meaning that we substitute H into G. So H is equal to 1 over X to the power of 3. So now we substitute this one into function G. So you will get cube root of 1 over x to the power of 3 which give you answer x oops sorry this one you should be 1 over x so here will be 1 over x so f 1 over x so is equal to x Okay, so you get f1 over x is equal to x over x plus 1. So, again, you let u equal to 1 over x, x is equal to 1 over u. So, you substitute x by 1 over u, you substitute 1 over x as u. So, you get f u is equal to 1 over u over 1 over u plus 1. Where you, when you simplify, simplify this, then you get 1 over 1 plus u. So change back u to x, so therefore you get f of x is equal to 1 over 1 over 1 plus x. So that's all for this second hour lecture. So now please answer this question and send the solution as a proof of your attendance. The questions are, if f and g are functions defined by f map x to square root of x and g map x to x squared minus 9 so state the range of f and g and second define the composite function g composite f